Welcome to this edition of DECast. My name is Rob Bagby. I'm a developer evangelist for Microsoft Corporation and this is the second in a multi-part series where I'm illustrating uh, some of the functionality or, or framework components available on the Microsoft stack that are of interest to PHP developers that PHP developers can take advantage of from within their applications. In the first edition I illustrated how to get up and running uh, hosting on IIS 7. I showed you how to install PHP, how to install fast CGI as well as the URL rewrite module and got everything up and configured in, in really under five minutes. In this screencast I want to illustrate one of the modules that's available to you in the IIS pipeline and that's the URL rewrite module. And You saw me install that in the first screencast and so now I'm just going to show you how to take advantage of it. So let's get Let's take a look at what, where we left off. We, uh, we essentially uh, got, our, uh, got our PHP application all configured and running under IIS and I showed you index.php uh, which is just doing a PHP info to illustrate the PHP is up and running. If we take a look we can see we had a couple other pages like catalog.php. I can go ahead and navigate out to catalog.php or and I've also got one contact us.php and we can navigate out to those pages. Now this URI is not very friendly um, and, and, and kind of the baseline I always put is would you remember this thing right off the bat uh, if you went home or you know if you asked uh, somebody who's not a, a techie you asked your, your parents hey what does .php mean or your grandmother what does .php mean they probably wouldn't know because we add that PHP in there so that the web server knows what handler to pass this request to it's not really user centric it's really technology centric so we want to get rid of that and we want to create a very friendly URI. And so let's use the URL rewrite module to do that. Let's just assume that I want instead of a contact us.php or test php whack contact us.php, let's assume I wanted to just go uh, http localhost whack contact us or uh, localhost whack catalog. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into Internet Information uh, IIS, Internet Information Services. Let's go up to my uh, up to my site level. I'm going to click on Features View down here, and I'm going to double click on this URL Rewrite module. You saw me install that earlier. I'm going to choose to add a rule. Now I'm going to show you three different ways to add uh, add rules in. I'm going to start off with a blank rule. So let's go ahead here. We'll just call this my catalog rule. Uh, I'm going to put the pattern in here. It's just going to be catalog. So if somebody types in catalog. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, match this pattern. We're not really using regular expressions here, but we will in just a minute. Um, and uh, my rewrite rule is I want to go to test PHP uh, whack catalog.php. And so we're essentially rewriting from a catalog internally to test test PHP whack catalog.php. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now when we go back out here, I can just change this URI to my friendly URI, and it's going to work. It just works flawlessly. And so we can go ahead and maybe add one in for contact us. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, let's go add another rule. And uh, we'll just add another blank rule. We'll just say uh, this will be our contact. And we'll just type in uh, contact. Instead of contact us, maybe we want it to be contact. And we'll change this to test PHP whack contact us. And we'll just save that. And you know, another thing you might uh, choose to do is add a condition in here to make sure that the uh, the request is not a directory. So let's go ahead and add one of those in. And we'll just say uh, maybe the request underscore file name is not a directory. And that just uh, that just uh, makes our uh, makes our rule a bit more uh, a bit more correct and less apt to fail. We'll apply that. We can go out here and we can just change this from catalog to uh, contact and we're good to go. Everything's working just fine but that, that's kind of tedious to add in a new rule for, a rule for each one. I needed to have some distinct rules because I was really making a change from contact us to contact. Let me show you a different way to do that. You can see that this contact to contact us, we really couldn't use a regular expression to do that because we wouldn't know that uh, to add that us in there. But we might want to maybe clean this up a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove these rules. Let me just remove this one too. And let's add in a, a rewrite map. And this just makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to choose to add a rewrite map. I'm just going to call this my, uh, I don't know, we'll just call it my PHP map. It's a terrible name, but I'll go with it. And I'm going to add some mapping entries. I'm just going to say we're going to map catalog to test PHP. 
whack-catalog.php, add another mapping entry, and we'll just say whack contact to test PHP whack contact us dot PHP okie dokie now we're gonna go back to rules I'm gonna add a rule I'm gonna add a rule with a rewrite map choose rewrite and I'm gonna choose that map I just created and by doing that now I've abstracted away those one-to-one -one maps into one little mapping file and if we run this up this is gonna work just like it did before I changed this to uh, uh, catalog and that works and we can go back to contact and we can refresh just to make sure I'm not tricking you and then we can go back to contact now let's assume that we really just wanted to uh, map back over to uh, test PHP contact us and all we really want to do is get rid of this whack test PHP and the dot PHP at the end well in that case we could use a different kind of rule that that way in that case we can really take advantage of regular expressions so let me show you how that works Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this rule. Uh, done. Let's go ahead and add a rule. I'm going to add a blank rule. Actually, let's add a user-friendly URL, and I'll let it give me a start, and we'll make a change from there. So my user-friendly URL, this is a nice way for us to, to get a good start. I'm going to say, hey, the, the URLs typically look like HTTP colon localhost uh, whack uh, test PHP uh, whack catalog dot uh, PHP and you can see that it's mapping it mapping this rule down to me saying hey uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of that dot PHP for you and they gave me a starting pattern and they gave me a substitution URL that's that's actually a pretty good start so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that and then let's go ahead and uh, edit this thing well I'm gonna change this pattern I want this thing to be a little bit uh, a little bit cleaner for me I want it to be more generic so again, I'm not going to uh, want somebody to type in test PHP into the into the URI. So I'm going to get rid of that all up. And then this catalog, I want to make that a little more generic. I know that's just a bunch of uh, a bunch of strings. So I want to create something called a, a, a named group that I can refer to later uh, by index. And I do that by uh, putting parens. This is the beginning of line character. And then I'm just going to say, all right, let me just go ahead and say A to Z lowercase, uh, A to Z uppercase. And you can put in and you know whatever else you want, uh, numbers, uh, dashes, etc. I'm just going to leave it at that because I, I know that works. And uh, then I'm just going to, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let me put a, a right brace on that, a bracket on that, and then a plus sign to say uh, as, many as, uh, as, many as, I, as many as I get up until we get to the end of line character. Okay. So this will, if I type in catalog, contact us, etc., it will match this pattern, and I'll be ref be able to refer to that via its index, which is a one base index. Let's leave these uh, let's leave these rules in. It's not a file, and it's not a directory. I'm still going to use a rewrite, and this time I'm going to go to catalog uh, test PHP, and instead of uh, that catalog in there, this is where I want to refer back to my index. So I'm just going to use its index using uh, the R colon and then the index. Uh, number. Let's apply that and now let's test it out. So now we can go over here to catalog and it still works. If we go ahead and refresh to make sure everything's going and now we can go to contact us and it works as well. And just to prove I'm not cheating on you, if I tried contact this should fail. Let's refresh that and that should fail. We're going to get the 404. But going back to the contact us everything's gonna work out just fine so my rule uh, worked as you can see it's relatively simple to create these rewrite rules you've got really a, a, a an array of opportunities uh, great blank rules user-friendly rule uh, rules uh, rules with rewrite maps you can even do a requ request blocking so I hope that gives you a, a taste of, uh, of at least one of the modules that you can really take advantage of to create these search engine friendly URIs as well as create URIs that uh, that your customers can remember so I really do appreciate your attention, and uh, you can get to more of these screencasts uh, on robbagby.com. Thanks again.